In the meantime, we are four days away from the Democratic caucus in Nevada. Hillary Clinton, however, is in New York City for a meeting with the Reverend Al Sharpton. Here are some pictures of that event happening live in New York. Uh, Ed Henry, meanwhile, is in Vegas, baby. <laughs> Ed, good morning. Why is Hillary Clinton <laughs> morning, in Bill. New York? Well, she was here in Nevada last night. As you say, this is the next caucus state. Uh, she has a lot of work to do. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. She flew back to New York because uh, she's meeting with Al Sharpton, other civil uh, rights leaders, uh, NAACP. You see a live picture uh, happening in New York City right now. Uh, she has a lot of work to do with African Americans. She has had this advantage for a long time. Bernie Sanders is pushing back, trying to make sure in some of the upcoming states like South Carolina that he's going to play with African American voters as well. Remember, Clinton playing a little catch up here because the last week, Right after New Hampshire, Bernie Sanders went to New York City, had breakfast with Al Sharpton, who's competing for his endorsement. Uh, Sharpton hasn't said what he's going to do yet, uh, but the bottom line is the African American vote is going to be critical in these Democratic primaries. And if Bernie Sanders has any hope of, of winning, he's, he's got some momentum now, but if he's going to win, he's going to have to do better with minorities, Bill. So uh, Sanders was down in Iowa. He was down in New Hampshire in the final days and closed pretty well. Um, can he do the same thing in Nevada? And reminder, it is a caucus you know, there. Right. And the caucus situation like Iowa can play to Bernie Sanders' organizational strength, perhaps. Uh, and you lay it out perfectly. A month ago, the Clinton camp was touting the fact that they had a 25-point lead here. You can see some of the video we have. This is some of Sanders' uh, folks. He did some organized labor events, some veterans' events uh, yesterday. Uh, his volunteers going out there uh, trying to hit the ground and do what they did in Iowa, do what they did in New Hampshire. But the bottom line is, you know, John Ralston, who uh, the best uh, political prognosticator on the ground here in Nevada, uh, nonpartisan, has said that the Clinton camp is in panic mode right now uh, because they were up 25 points a month ago, and right now this is a very tight race. And so Sanders is hoping to shock the world yet again on Saturday. And we'll see if he does. Thank you, Ed Henry, live in Las Vegas. Thank you, Ed. We'll Good talk to you real soon. Ten minutes past, Martha.